लेसन नंबर एट स्टैटिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज वॉट डू द अब ऑब्जर्वेशन टेल अस दीज एग्जाम्पल्स आर जस्ट अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ अ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज दैट ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट इन आर सराउंडिंग होल्ड इन एबेंडेंस इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इज स्टोर्ड इवन इन आवर ओन बॉडीज All substances are made of very tiny particles. Electric charge is an in-string property of these particles. Though in this way electric charge is abundantly present, it is always in a hidden state. This is because two opposite types of charges are present in equal numbers in all these substances. When the positive charge plus and negative charge minus on an object are balanced. the object is neutral that is there are no net charge on the object if these charges are not balanced the object is said to be charged try this how would two charged object interact with each other rub one end of the glass rod against a silk cloth due to the rubbing a small charge will get transferred from one object to the other as a result both the objects will become somewhat charged suspend this rod freely in the air with the help of a thread now charge another glass rod in the same manner and bring it near the suspended rod what do you see the two rods push each other away now take a plastic rod rub one of its ends against the woolen cloth bring that end near the suspended glass rod now what do you see the two rods are pulled towards each other what did you find in the first experiment two rods carrying similar charges push each other away this is called repulsion we learn from the second experiment that rods carrying opposite types of charges get pulled towards each other this is called attraction the scientist benjamin franklin named the electric charges positive charge plus and negative charge minus what is the origin of electric charge all substances are made up of particles and these particles are ultimately made up of very tiny atoms we shall be looking at the details of atomic stationary positive charge and moving negative charges these two charges being perfectly balanced an atom is electrically neutral all objects are made up of atoms which mean that they are electrically neutral then how do objects become electrically charged for some reason the balance of electrically neutral atoms gets disturbed for example when certain objects are rubbed against each other the negatively charged particles on one object go to the other object the object to which they go becomes negatively charged due to an excess of negatively charged particles similarly the object from which the negatively charged particles go away becomes positively charged due to the deficiency of negatively charged particles it seems that of the two objects being rubbed one becomes positively charged and the other negatively charged do you know about 2500 years ago a great scientist named thales found that feathers are attracted towards a rod of yellow colored amber which had been rubbed against a woolen cloth amber is called electron in the greek language therefore this property of amber to attract things was named electricity by thomas browning in 1646 ad frictional electricity the electric charge generated by friction is called frictional electricity this charge is produced only at the place of friction hence it is used static electricity it remains on the object for a short duration the charges of static electricity are absorbed in moist air that is why these experiments should be performed in dry weather particularly in winter electrically charged objects attract uncharged objects there is repulsion between like electric charges there is attraction between unlike electric charges hence repulsion is used as a test for identifying an electrically charged object
ऑब्जर्व एंड डिस्कस टेक थर्माकोल बॉल्स और मस्टर्ड सीड्स इन द बॉटल एंड शेक द बॉटल विगरेसली द सीड्स ट्राई टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर बट स्टिक टू द बॉटल वाई डज दिस हैपन ट्राई दिस वन to charge an object by contact rub a plastic comb against paper standard 7 touch the English comb with another uncharged English. comb take the other comb near some pieces of paper what happens to to charge an object by induction rub a comb or a balloon on your hair as shown in the picture take the comb near a thin trickle of water from a top see what happens now draw the comb away from the trickle and observe what happens mark your observation with a tick one when the charge comb is brought close to the flowing water water gets attracted repel remains as it was two when the charge comb is taken away from the flowing water it gets attracted repel remains as it was initially at first the flow of water is not charged when the negatively charged comb comes near the flowing water the negative particles in its nearest the comb are pushed away that part becomes positively charged due to the deficiency of negative charge the comb has negative and the water has positive charge due to the attraction between these opposite charges the flowing water is attraction between these opposite charges and flowing water is attracted towards the comb when the comb is taken away the negative particles in the flowing water come back to their original position and positive and negative charges become equal in number as a result the water becomes uncharged again and stops getting attracted to the comb try this when an uncharged aluminum ball is brought near a negatively charged balloon the following things happen as shown in figure a an opposite charge is generated in the other object by induction and both the object get attracted to each other as shown in figure b on touching both the objects become similarly charged as seen in figure c the like charges repel each other atmospheric electric charge we have experienced clouds thunders and lightning sometimes we hear and read that lightning struck a tree or a building and some people or animal were killed how does this happen how can we prevent such injury or death what is that actually happens when there is lightning in the sky and when lightning strikes the earth lightning where air and clouds rub against each other in the sky the upper part of the some clouds on the upper side becomes positively charged and the lower side become negatively charged the science behind lightning and the lightning strike is a complicated let us therefore consider a cloud in the sky with a negatively strike is complicated let us therefore consider a cloud in the sky with a negatively charged base above a plain ground when this negative charge on the bottom of the cloud becomes much larger than the charge on the ground it starts flowing towards the ground in stages this happens very fast in much less than a second and heat light and sound energy are produced along with the electric current a lightning strike you probably know that when there are electrically charged clouds in the sky electricity is attracted towards a tall buildings or tree when lightning strikes an opposite electric charge is generated on the roof of a building or on the top of a tree by induction due to the attraction between the opposite charges on the cloud and the building 
the charge on the cloud flows towards the building. This is called a lightning strike. Lightning conductor. The lightning conductor is a device used for protection from the lightning strike. It contains for a long copper strip with a one end fork. This end is at the highest part of the building. The other end of the strip is connected to a plate of cast iron. A pit is dug in the ground. Coal and salt are filled into the pit and the iron plate is placed upright in the pit. There is also a provision for pouring water into it. This helps to spread the electric charge quickly into the ground and prevent damage. Whenever an electrical charge cloud passes over the building, the electric charges flowing towards the building are conducted into the ground through the copper strip and damage to the building is prevented. When such a lightning conductor earthling is fixed on a tall building, the surrounding area is also protected from the lightning. You will get more information about how to get protection from lightning in the lesson on disaster.